Right, first question, have you seen my phone? <laughs> um, have I seen your phone? I don't know where your phone is. But I think you should find it because that That's sucks. A, I'm sweating. I've been there. I lose my phone every three, four days. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, how aware of you of how big the show's become? How aware am I? Mm. Um, in recent weeks, after visiting London um, and being here in Monte Carlo for the film festival or for the uh, TV festival, it's been pretty. It's been pretty crazy, and I've realized that a lot of people watch the show. We uh, we stayed at a hotel, and sometimes there were people camping outside with with sleeping bags, and it's it's just so overwhelming and flattering and at the end of the day the fact that people are so enthusiastic and so passionate is really great and that's what we what we wish and hope for and hopefully we're giving them what they want and, and it's just it's crazy it's crazy yeah. when these people sleep outside your hotels and stuff what do they want from you when they see you what do they say um when they stay outside they usually uh they usually want an autograph when we come out or a picture or or to talk and, and get to meet us and I mean I, I understand that if uh, there's movies that I've watched that I, there's a lot of actors that I admire their work and and their craft and if I were to ever meet them I would love to to speak with them or or, or get some sort of picture and it's, I, I understand that. Okay. The show um, premiered. But I don't, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Uh, the show premiered last September um, on the CW. Yeah. Five million. How did you react when you when you had those ratings through the next day? I um I actually remember when we got the ratings and everybody kind of somebody screamed it I think and they were like we're a hit we got the ratings we're number one on the network and I was just like I can't believe this like this is my life I had to pinch myself because I came from this is my first kind of big big uh, break I guess you would say and and it was really nice to know that that not only do I enjoy making it but people enjoy watching it. And they've really stretched you this first year as well. You've had to play two characters. Um, and in the finale, you played you played Catherine playing Elena. Yeah. How was that? I know. I played Catherine, and then I play Elena, and then I play Catherine playing Elena um, to then discover that it's not Elena, but it's Catherine. So it's kind of confusing, but it's it's exactly what I want. It's It's the biggest, most welcome challenge. The character is very... Both characters are very multidimensional and layered and complicated and flawed. One is very sweet and a girl next door who has issues and tries to deal with them to the best of her abilities and she has a lot of pressure coming from different directions, but somehow manages to plow through and protects everyone and rises to the occasion when it's difficult. She is very strong and, and courageous, I think, and I admire her, her persistence, but at the same time, Catherine is this kind of twisted, maniac, crazy, narcissistic, selfish, vampire, blood killer, bloodthirsty killer who sees the world as her gourmet buffet and she just has to have a taste of every different flavor and so she does. I mean, think about it this way. If you're a vampire, you, you'll live for all eternity eventually the, everything's going to get boring and you want to you wanna spice it up and so Catherine decides to take on minions and use men as her toys and play with them and I mean whatever floats her boat that's what it is. Is it joining for you playing both characters? Do you have to play them both in the same day? I've never had to play them both in the same day only because the hair and makeup process to change from Catherine to Elena um, is just too, it just takes too long. Well, in the flashbacks. Whenever we do flashbacks, I have to wear the corset. And it, it, it takes 20 minutes alone to put on the dress. And then hair and makeup takes a long time because it's curl the hair and do the, it's just, it's a whole process. So we can't flip back and forth. But when we did the finale of the first season, I had to, I had to play Elena and then I had to play Catherine being Elena. So. Must be so confusing. It, I mean, it's, it's con no. I mean, it is, but it isn't because I do my work and I got it. I got it straight. I got it down.
I figured it out. It's like an equation now. Okay. As far as the finale goes, there's another kind of cliffhanger with your, um, your on-screen brother. What do you think happens next? Um, I mean, I can speculate, and I think that the audience is speculating as to what's going to happen to Jeremy, but unfortunately I can't give that away. Finally then, um, season two, um, how much do you know about that and when do you start filming? I know absolutely nothing except for the start date, which is in July, and they don't tell us anything because they know that we're going to be talking to journalists and doing interviews, and then they don't want us to give it away, so they keep us as little, they keep us in the dark as much as they can for that precise reason.